Do I look like Lily? Oh my god, it's so bright. Right? It's so, <laughs> so bright. bright. I don't like the darkness. I'm scared of the dark. It's uh, 5.30 a.m. on Saturday morning, and uh, hey, hey, we're swimming, we're, we're locked out. <laughs> hey, hey, it's cool. hey, we're I'm vlogging, okay, go away. <laughs> it's so cold outside that everyone's deck bag is frozen. <laughs> it's frozen. It's where you work. We're waiting for lifeguards or someone with a key to get into this building. We'll see what happens. Hopefully someone has a key. If the lifeguards don't show up soon, Gary and I are going to have to huddle together for warmth. Yeah, it's pretty cold out here. <laughs> oh, thank God. The maintenance guy let us in. <sighs> we made it. I gotta pry it apart. It's after 6 a.m. and we're stretching. Kind of surprised we didn't just get right in. It means the coaches are in a good mood. The scale of 1 to 10, how much Super Smash Bros. have you been playing? I think I have seven hours on Oh my god. The game's been out for like 12 hours. <laughs> you should save all your bloopers for like a vlog for just us. <laughs> Half the things Ian does, I have to cut out of these videos. <laughs> By the way, this stretch circle we've got going on here, right in here, we just, we go in loops as we stretch. Incredibly inefficient. Incredibly inefficient. Don't stretch too hard, Ian. Don't work too hard. <laughs> Misha, I miss you. I feel like we don't swim together anymore. Oh, I miss you, dude. <laughs> so wake up, man, wake up. <laughs> it means it's time Let's to get in, game. boys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Here we go. We're on the last round of the first round of the set. <laughs> I'm going last with Gary. Just pulling. Mishi, look at Mishi go. I've never seen anyone who trains as fast as this kid right here. Woo! 20.9. Oh! 20.9, yeah. <laughs> We're not even done with the first round. And we're about to start the last 450s of the last round. Killer set, man. Killer set. Whew. Last round. One more 50. Last one, boys. Good job, bud. Killed it. Good job, Gary. Killed it. Practice is over. Killer set today. Wish I could have swam more of it. Had to pull it because I pulled my groin the other day, which was really painful. It was so bad I had to have Jackson roll me out really late on Thursday night. It's 7 p.m. right now, and Jackson is rolling my hamstring with a cinder metal thing. Wait, how much does it weigh? 150 pounds? 150 pounds. 150 pounds. And I was having some serious hamstring trouble after practice this afternoon, so Jackson very kindly invited me back to get work done. I'm very fortunate. <laughs> Look at that thing. 150 pounds. We are literally the last people in here. It's 8 p.m. I've never seen the weight room this empty, ever. Look at it. It's peaceful. Peaceful. Look. So quiet. So empty. It's kind of weird. All in all, a super productive week. On Monday, we did a lot of band work with the stretch cords. Lily, Ian, and I were goofing off, which was a ton of fun. The band has five knots in it. Yeah. Good old band. Yes. We're finishing practice with some resisted bands hooked into the lane line right there. Gotta make it the whole way with the cord. And once you get back, Come back all the way underwater. And that's actually the hard part. Drop and roll. Let's go out of here. Cody! Right here! I don't need to go. Ray's angry that Cody's vlogging. Ray, are you angry that Cody's vlogging? It takes too long to vlog and we waste time. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Show us how it's done, Ian. Let's see this. I'm filming to the best of my capability. Here we go. Tony <laughs> Miller doing the band. Da -da -da. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna go right by you. You're not gonna get me. I'm gonna go. I thought it. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's what it would say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here comes Cody. Watch Cody come back underwater. The underwater part's the hardest. Yeah. He's got to breathe a little bit here. And he's getting strangled by the belt. Oh, it's too fast for me. Oh, I'm dying. You're so fast! I needed a snorkel. When the band rips you from the wall, you go so fast. So fast. <laughs> Thanks, Lil. Such a good teammate. Oh, yes. Like, that's me. Oh. I'm not selfish at all. <laughs> The highlight of Tuesday, I got to swim with Margo. I love swimming with Margo. She's like my favorite person. <sighs> we just finished a pretty righteous Tuesday afternoon practice. Nothing better than hanging out with my, BF, my BF Margo. <laughs> Everyone wants to be best friends with Margo because she's so secretive. And she's super nice. I don't know what to say that. It's okay. No. John worked on her last night. He was texting me. He's pretty intense. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Margo, I'm gonna nickname I'm gonna nickname these paddles the Margo paddles. Because they're special. Because they're extra extra special. Then on Wednesday, Wednesday was an interesting day. I actually slept in really late on Wednesday. Oh. Good morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Today is my only morning that I actually get to sleep in. Yes, sleeping in until 7 is sleeping in for me. I would like to point out two things. Number one, there's a ton of snow on the ground, which is awesome because Christmas is coming. And number two, my bed sheets are completely sideways. Allie messes up the covers every single night. Harry Potter's face is supposed to face the other way. Early. 7.05, that's enough sleeping in. I'm gonna get up now. Did you sleep well? Did you have a good night's sleep, Lego? Did you sleep well? All right, go play, go play. Lego, go play with her. So my mom just sent me this giant box full of stuff for Christmas. They're not gifts or anything, it's mostly Christmas ornaments. As a kid, I was a big fan of Snoopy, so I have every Snoopy Christmas ornament. I've got a Batman Christmas ornament. The box had like my old army man, a bunch of toys that I had when I was a little kid, which is super cool. My favorite hat, and my favorite wooden sword that I played with as a little kid. By far, the coolest thing that my mom sent me is this giant oversized card that was given to me in 2008. This card was signed by everyone on my swim team after I qualified for Olympic trials for the first time. Qualifying for Olympic trials at 16 years old, 10 years ago, almost 11 years ago now, in 2008 was, at the time, the biggest accomplishment in my life. And to get this giant oversized card signed by all of my friends wishing me good luck, it's just really cool, really special. Bring me back a little bit. This is really, really cool. Thank you, Sam Peppers of Nevada. Couldn't have made Olympic trials without you. Ah, I'm getting all emotional. Heading out now. Climbing these stairs after practice is not ideal. Had a really good day on Thursday as well. We had some very special visitors to practice Thursday afternoon. Thursday afternoon, we're just about to finish practice and 
the drug testers from WANA showed up and we're all like, because I've already peed like several times and they're only here to drug test Lily. Gay clean sport. <laughs> I did this to myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In honor of Lily being drug tested, I'm peeing in the pool right now. <laughs> when WADA shows up, they're usually here for blood and urine. So sometimes when they show up in the middle of practice, I've already peed like five times, and then you have to wait like an hour because you have to fill a tube with a certain amount of urine, and if you can't fill it all the way up, you have to do it all over again. So sometimes when drug testers come to the pool for practice, we're here for like two, three, sometimes more than three hours just to make sure that they get the proper amount of urine so that they can drug test you. I'm super happy I'm not getting drug tested because I've already peed a lot. Not that I don't support testing, I get drug tested all the time. We love it, but we hate it. It's just a part of the lifestyle. Lily is so unhappy right now because she's going to have to wait like an hour before she can pee the right amount. Yeah, they're safe. That's pretty ghetto. That's pretty ghetto. Look at that stuff. You're the only one who still wears those goggles. Yep. All right. It's so much better when the drug tester show up at the beginning of practice because then you can pee. But after you've swam, do you have to give blood? I don't know. I'll find out. Uh, that means I'll be here for an extra half hour. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. A few more hard pullers with about 60 pounds and paddles, and we're out of here. Lily's got a drug test. Ba -na 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 -na. Cody doesn't have one. Ba -na 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 -na. Lily's got a pee in a cup. Ba -na 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 -na. And These you are just real literally feet. tie knots in them. You are so ghetto. <laughs> like, I am the come on, like you are an Olympic champion. You can have the nicest goggles in the world, and yet you wear those. <laughs> It's a little bit chilly outside, but it's actually kind of a nice day. Whoo! It's a little bit chilly outside. We swam at Royer this morning because there was a swimmy at our other pool, so we had to free up the lane space. It's fun having practices at Royer. Um, we had a really great set. That set we did today was awesome. People were going really fast. It was good energy, had a lot of fun. I wish I was able to actually swim the whole thing. I was pulling it because I've got this issue with my groin and my knee and I'm trying to work on that, but slow progress. It's like two steps forward, one step back kind of thing. Um, all in all, a good morning. It's nice being done at 8 a.m. It's like I have the whole day to myself now. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. And as always, make sure you guys are following me on social media, at Swim Miller on Twitter and at Cody Miller on Instagram. Vlogs every Wednesdays, Q&A videos weekly. I'm gonna try to do more podcasts soon. I'm gonna get Gary on the podcast. A lot of people have been asking to get Gary on. He's gonna be on the podcast. And until the next video, I will see you guys later.